guys, welcome back to my channel. Happy Magic Mail Monday. That's right, it's that time again to open some Disney P.O. Box mail from you. I've really been enjoying this series, and if you're new to my channel, this is basically a Monday weekly series that I do where I open some mail from subscribers that has come to my P.O. Box. And honestly, when I started my YouTube channel, I never in a million years thought I would have to open a P.O. Box to receive mail, but it's been really fun and um, really flattering and really inspiring and really humbling to get uh, a stack of mail here and there with fun Disney stuff and and other sweet goodies in it so I just I really appreciate everything everyone has sent and uh, I always say this but if you sent me something and I haven't shown it in a video yet it's probably still coming because I do have um, quite a, a stack in the guest bedroom and it's, it's driving my husband kind of crazy which is why I had to start the series in the first place because he's like you know kids you got to get some of this stuff like you know unboxed and, and shown and, and put away so that's the story on Magic Mail Monday anyway I have a, a little stack here for you and then I also have a couple little items that um, a couple people gave to me when I was in Disneyland a few weeks ago that I meant to show in my Disneyland haul which I posted yesterday but I just totally forgot to show them so I've got a stack of mail and then a couple uh, really sweet little gifts to share as well today so I'm gonna start with this mailer this mailer came to me from Canada and this is from Sarah also known as Chasing the Magic uh, in Canada. So I'm gonna go ahead and open this up. Oh, and it looks like there's a couple cute little things in here. So let me pull stuff out. I actually see some like Mickey head confetti uh, in the bottom. They're kind of like fall colored. Here, just for a second. Wee! Okay, that was a fail. <laughs> um, and I'm also seeing uh, a little Etsy card from the Vintage Heart. So I'm, I'm curious to see what this is. And uh, here is the little note card inside. It's super cute. It has rainbows and, and unicorns on it. Love it. The note is very sweet, and she mentioned she has included a Canada Disney pin, which I'm excited about because I love Disney and I, I love Canada, actually. And um, she's included some goodies from her Etsy shop that are Snow White inspired, and that she also has a YouTube channel, Chasing the Magic. I think I've seen your YouTube channel. I will link to her Etsy shop and YouTube channel down below, but it's Sarah from Chasing the Magic. So hi, Sarah. Thanks for sending me things. Okay, so let's start with this pin. I think I've seen this pin before. I don't have it. Um, but I'm excited about it. And here is the pin. It is an Epcot um, Mickey head with the Canadian flag on it. So that's pretty awesome. I have a little side collection of Disney Epcot pins, and I also have a little side collection of pins that kind of go along with places that I visited. And, and my husband and I actually got engaged in Canada, and I feel like we're in Canada almost every other year on Canada Day. So we're big Canada Day fans in this family, but um, I'll definitely be putting this in my, in my collection on one of my boards. Love getting a new Disney pin in the mail. And let's see, this is from her Etsy shop. It's in a cute little like kind of super light pink uh, pouch. It's very, very cute and it's nicely bubble wrapped inside. And let's see, oh, I think these are earrings. These are really, they look like they're gonna be really pretty earrings actually. Let me see here. And again, her Etsy shop is called The Vintage Heart. Oh wow, these are gorgeous, like super gorgeous. I hope the sparkliness of these earrings is coming across on camera as well as it does in person, but these are absolutely beautiful, sparkly little earrings, and they are in Snow White colors. So these are the colors of, of Snow White's dress, yellow and, and red and blue, and gosh, like I'm trying to get some sunlight on them because they just glisten. They remind me of the, the diamonds in the Seven Dwarves Mine Train diamond ride. They're beautiful, and I also love her, her beautiful shop logo as well. Thank you so much. Sarah. Seriously, these are gorgeous, so thank you so much, and I'll link to Sarah's shop and her YouTube channel down below, and, um, and thank you again, Sarah. What a, what a sweet, thoughtful gift. Okay, next up I have a mailer from Alicia in Massachusetts. I think Alicia sent me this um, a little while ago, so sorry I'm taking so long to get to some of my mail, but I get a little backed up. Life's been a little crazy this summer. And uh, let's see what's inside here. So here's the note, and it's actually on figment note paper. I don't want to overshare the note, but look at how cute that paper is, little figment on a light bulb. And the note says, we got this in a blind bag and immediately thought of you. Lots of Disney magic from Alicia and also Sophia. So hi to Sophia as well. And it looks like they also have a YouTube channel, Life on the Go with me and Mama. I will check out your channel. Thanks for the note. And then let's see what's wrapped up in this little tissue. I think it's a blind bag item. I love blind bag stuff. It's a Snow White keychain. Oh my goodness, here she is. So if you're new to my channel, I'm a big Snow White fan. She and Belle are my favorite Disney princesses. And I've been loving getting little keychains and tchotchkes lately because I recently got into um, decorating Eda bags to wear in the Disney parks. So this will be perfect on one of my Disney Eda bags. 
A couple of you have asked in the comments of my recent videos what an Eda bag is because I've mentioned it a couple times and I'll try to get a little video up um, of what an Eda bag is and how I'm putting them together for my next trip to Disney before I go. Hopefully I'll have time to do that. Thank you so much Alicia and Sophia. I super appreciate your thoughtfulness and I do love these little blind bag uh, keychains. Super cute. Next up I have this little package which I received in the mail just a few days ago and uh, the return address is from Going To Guides which are like my favorite Disney Parks guidebooks and so I'm not sure what's in here. It says surprise and there's a little um there's a little bell sticker on it and I love bells so much. She's my other favorite princess besides Snow White. And the author of these guidebooks, Shannon, has such beautiful handwriting and she's so beautifully artistic, so it's really fun to get a package in the mail from you. So hi, Shannon. I'm excited to see what's in here. Here is the note card she included. It's obviously Elsa from Frozen. I love her um, aesthetic, just a super, super cute card. And the note says, I wanted to thank you for including me in your video. I had a flurry of orders and new followers thanks to you. Oh, that's really sweet. Well, yeah, so if you saw my recent Disney small shop haul video, I included her books and, and some of her goodies in there. So I'm really glad that some of you checked her out because I really do love her stuff. And I'll link to her, uh, her again down below, but it's going to guides on, on Instagram and on, and on the internet. Here is a little something that was included in the package. It says, thank you, Becca, on it, and I'm going to open it up. I love the little green stripey bag. I just She just has such a cool style. What is in here? It's in a little blue box. It's almost like a Tiffany box. <laughs> it says, going to guides, pretty princess magnets, set of four round magnets. And look at the back. There's cute little birdies on there as well. Let's open these up and see what the magnets look like. I'm pretty excited. I like to put my magnets on my, my filing cabinet back there. Okay. Oh my gosh, these are beautiful. Like, so beautiful. And here they are. It is a set of four round princess magnets. So we've got Snow White, my fave, up here. And then next to her, we have Ariel. Underneath, we have Rapunzel. And then, of course, Princess Jasmine. And I'm not sure if you can see, but each of them has like a little kind of glitter embellishment in their hair ornament, which is so pretty. I also think the card on the back is a, is a Snow White card. So this is gorgeous. I'm totally going to put these on my filing cabinet. Like I said, I love her aesthetic. I love her, her design skills. And I just think these are super, super cute. Thank you, Shannon, for the thank you gift. That was totally not necessary, but I will, I will treasure these. They're just beautiful. All right, next up I have a package from Tashina in Florida. I've been sitting on this one for a couple months. Sorry, Tashina, I get a little backed up sometimes. Um, let's see what is in here. First there is, oh, a really sweet letter. It has many pages too, so let me take a second and read this. This was one of the sweetest and most heartfelt notes I've read in a long time, so thank you, Tashina. This means a lot, and I'll try to reach out to you on the internet when I when I get a few minutes and, and write you back. Okay, and inside the mailer from Tashina, there's this little um, Disney Parks shopping bag, and I think there's a few different goodies in here, so I am seeing ah, three different things. So first of all, she sent me this really cute Dumbo pen. Um, I think this is from maybe the Shanghai Resort. Oh, yeah says right here, Shanghai Disney Resort. And um, I love Timothy the mouse, and I, I love pens. I, I do a lot of writing with pens, so this will be going in my, my little cup on my desk behind me. And then she also sent me this super cute little Snow White notepad. Very, very sweet. And I think in here, in this bubble wrap, there's a little pin. I don't have my scissors on me, so I'm gonna have to try to like muscle this thing open here. Oh my gosh, and it is one of the new Hidden Mickey pins. It's the Big Feet uh, Marie Hidden Mickey pins. You can find these on cast member lanyards in the parks. So here is the close-up of the super cute little Marie pin. She's got the little hidden Mickey on her foot. And I love the Big Feet um, plushes. So these pins are actually designed after a series of plushes, which I have several of. Um, so this is super awesome. And of course, it's the Disney Kitty. And I'm going to try to put this um, on one of my Eda bags or, or lanyards for an upcoming visit to the park. So I, I really love it. Thank you so much, Tashina. And I loved reading your letter. And I totally relate to you and get where you're coming from on the collecting things that you couldn't have as a child, but now you're taking them on as an adult. Like, I totally get it, girl, so thank you so much, and um, I'll try to shoot you a note uh, in the near future. This is the final package of this video, and then like I said, I have a couple quick things I also wanna share um, from some friends that I met up with in Disneyland really quick before I sign off. So this package, though, is coming from Suzanne in Alabama. So hi, Suzanne in Alabama. I like the pretty pink packaging. Oh, I'm seeing. I think a business card or postcard that says Disney Dreamers Shop. So I love small shop things. And there's also a nice note. 
She says she's been watching my YouTube channel for almost a year, which is crazy. She also says she has written and published her first book, which is amazing. That's a dream of mine for sure. And that she also recently opened her Etsy shop on June 1st. So congratulations. It sounds like there is a pair of Zootopia ears in this package. Oh my gosh. Thank you, Suzanne, for thinking of me. I'm so excited to, to see this. Here is what's inside and some pretty um, kind of peachy tissue paper. Let me open this up. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. These are beautiful. Check out this pair of ears. They have Zootopia on the ribbon. Okay, I gotta give you the close-up. First of all, I love the color and the pattern on the fabric of the ears themselves. I don't have anything like this and it actually matches my dress that I'm wearing today. But now look at the beautiful bow and the close-up of the ribbon on the bow. It says Zootopia and there's Nick and Judy all over it and it's kind of like a sparkly um, like teal blue bow. Absolutely gorgeous pair of ears. I don't have anything like these. I'm so excited to wear these. I think I'm going to actually put them on right now. Sorry, rose gold ears. I love you, but Zootopia definitely wins. All right, and there they are, my brand new Zootopia ears from Suzanne. Thank you so much. I'll put a link to Suzanne's ear shop down below, and then Suzanne, I have to check out your book. I'm so curious about authoring a book, so I'll, I'm gonna have to hunt you down on the internet. But thank you, thank you so much, Suzanne, for sending me these. They are very adorable, and they are much, much, much more comfortable than the rose gold ears. So like I said, sorry, rose gold ears, um, but you were, you were giving me a headache. These are much more comfy. That is it for my actual P.O. Box mail that I am sharing with you today. But like I said, before I go, I want to share just two little gifts I got when I was out in Disneyland in Anaheim a few weeks ago. I met many lovely people in the parks when I was there. It was so much fun. I love meeting people in the parks. But a couple of folks actually brought me gifts, and they actually told me they had thought maybe they would mail it to me for Magic Meal Monday, but that they would rather just give it to me in person since we were meeting up. So I've got a couple cute little things. The first thing I want to show you is this adorable giraffe plush. Um, I've mentioned it a few times, mostly a while back, that giraffes are my favorite animal of all time. I, I'm Disney kitty, but I could be Disney giraffe because I love giraffes so much. I think they're hilarious. And um, this was a gift from my friend April, who came into the parks and met me the first night. We hung out at the Lamplight Lounge together and, and had a cocktail. And she brought me this, and she said she had been hanging on to it for a while um, for my future uh, my future baby, if I ever have one. That sounds kind of weird, but I know many of you know that um, my husband and I are, are trying to conceive, and it's been kind of a rough journey, and um, several people have sent me things for a future uh, Disney kitty family baby, and um, this is something that I will treasure for sure and hopefully pass on to a child one day, hopefully someday soon. So April, I'm very touched by this, and I hope I'm not getting too awkward on camera, but um, I just love this little giraffe. And then also in the parks, I met a subscriber, Courtney, and Courtney and I apparently have everything under the sun in common. She was like my, my real life twin. It was so awesome to meet her. And she brought me this beautiful Sorcerer Mickey card, and it's got a really nice note inside, and, um, and I just love it. And then she also brought me these two beautiful beaded bracelets that I am wearing. Let me show you a close up. So it's these two right here. I'm just obsessed with these. I've been wearing them nonstop since I got back from California. And um, one one of them is a Scorpio themed bracelet because we're both Scorpios. I think this is the Scorpio one. And then the other one is a chakra themed bracelet. And um, I teach yoga and I teach chakras uh, for a living. So these are both super special and they both have to do with things that we have in common. Like I said, we're both Scorpios. We both practice yoga. Uh, this bracelet is just my Lillian and Co. one, which I also love, but they all look so pretty together. And um, Courtney, I just, I will treasure these always. So thank you so much. And um, like I said, I've been wearing them pretty much non stop and they were so thoughtful. I met so many nice people out in California, but I just had to give those two gals a, a shout out for the incredibly thoughtful gifts. It was really touching and, you know, I was in California by myself and California is not my home parks. Like I, I rarely get to Disneyland. So I was actually a little bit nervous to kind of be in a strange Disney park by myself and I thought I might get lost, but people were so kind and kind of helped me find my way around and helped me manage my fast pass as well. And I got to do everything I wanted and I got a lot of good hugs and high fives and I'm just, I don't know, I'm getting all emotional. 
emotional now. So I think I'm going to end this video here. That is it for today's Magic Mail Monday. I hope you enjoyed it and I so appreciate you watching. To everyone who has sent me something, thank you so much from the bottom of my heart. It means the world. And I'll be back really soon with more Disney videos. I do have a giveaway coming up, I think this week for 15,000 subscribers, which seems crazy. So stay tuned for that. I've got some fun prizes that you can win. And I truly hope your week is off to a great start. I'm looking out my window right now and the sun is out and I do think it's going to be um, a magical Monday. So I hope you have one too and I will see you real soon. Bye guys.